Okay, the title of this mini lecture is How to Keep a Cell Alive. And we have a diagram here in front of us. If you take a look, we've got blood flow going on right here. Uh, the blood is flowing in this direction. So we have um, O2 and glucose coming in from the gut and from the lungs and the O2 and the glucose are being dropped off at individual cells. Every cell needs O2 and glucose to survive, to live. Um, they will take this O2 and glucose and through a process called metabolism they will turn it into ATP, water, which is also H2O and CO2 called carbon dioxide. So uh, this is going on in every cell of your body throughout your life. It's necessary to keep um, individual cells alive. So uh, it looks like we end up with a big surplus of water and CO2. How do we get rid of those? Well we know CO2 every time you exhale you exhale CO2 and then you inhale oxygen which goes back over here and will go back down to the cells. Now the water that enters your bloodstream can't build up forever it has to leave. How do you get rid of that? Urination among others. Uh, you actually lose some uh, through exhaling. It will lose a little bit of water that way, a little bit through sweat, but for the most part, urination. So again, the key thing to keep in mind here is um, blood flow is necessary for cells to survive because blood flow drops off oxygen from the lungs and glucose that comes from breaking down the food that you eat. It's delivered by the blood. The cells through a process called metabolism, turn O2 and glucose into ATP and water and CO2. Um, and what is the ATP for? The ATP is actually like gasoline for the cell. It is energy. It is what is necessary to uh, do all the cell functions that need doing. Uh, the cell wall, to keep the cell wall active and alive and, and letting things in that should be let in and keeping things out that would kill the cell. Um, all the reproductive things, the nucleus is involved with all of that and more take uh, ATP, which stands for adenosine triphosphate and uh, we'll get into that in a later lecture.